Hello and welcome to Market Common. We are at Valor Park in Market Common for the Arts in the Park Festival. This is the 49th year that the Art in a Park Festival has taken place here in Myrtle Beach. It is hosted by the Waccamaw Arts and Craft Guild. And this guild's been around for quite a while, since the late 60s. So this specific art fair, the Art in the Park, has been operating since 1972. Two to three weekends a year, uh, whether or not weather permits. So this is the April edition of the Art in the Park. We typically have one uh, in the fall and then one close to the end of the year as well. The Art in the Park is specifically for the local artists and regional artists. We typically have individuals from Tennessee and Georgia that visit, but primarily local, consisting of, but not limited to, old school painting, sculptures, woodworking, photography prints, glasswork, fabric, metal, pottery, stone, jewelry, all the like. And all this has to be, it's required by the Art Guild, has to be original works of art. You cannot reproduce, you cannot reprint, and you cannot resell. So in order to get a booth or a tent in the Art in the Park, you have to be relatively local to the area and producing original art. So if you're the type of person who likes to collect art or if you're visiting and want a keepsake from this area from a local artist this is the place for you because all this art is going to be one of a kind and you have a very good chance of actually having a conversation with the artist that produced the piece As I previously mentioned, this is Valor Park in the Market Common. And we're looking at approximately 40 plus booths or tents filled with the local artists. And as we zip around and you get a walk through, you'll notice since we're outside, we're in Valor Park, it's also very pet friendly. A lot of the artists and people who are perusing and purchasing also had their dogs in tow so this makes a very comfortable very relaxed atmosphere this is the type of weekend the art in the park weekend where you come to the market common you grab yourself a cup of coffee maybe at the local coffee shop just across the street from here and just enjoy some art and if something calls to you you pick it up you bring it home and it's a good time as we make our way around, you'll notice that there are a lot of individuals out and about perusing, even though the weather forecast this day called for rain, but that didn't stop the artists and that didn't stop the fans of the art. If you were not here for this April weekend, for this edition of the Art in the Park, as I said earlier, you're going to have two more chances in October and November. I believe the second week of October and the third week of November. The scheduling may change. This is a good ways off, but keep those dates windows in mind if you're interested in visiting and maybe supporting the local artists that are attending this Art in the Park Festival, because that's a big element of a local art community is supporting those local artists because if we don't come out to these these festivals or these local shops or the local websites and we don't support them then they don't exist so if you're a fan of art have some stake in it and support your local artists
Thank you for joining me at this year's April edition of The Arts in the Park. If you enjoy this kind of thing, check out the main channel. Plenty of videos, plenty of playlists. You know the spiel. So until next time, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, and check out these charcoal paintings at this booth. These were fantastic. See you guys next time. Take it easy.